Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Well, it happened again. Facebook started allowing me to like and share posts yesterday. And as I was going through True News, which is Rick Wiles' Facebook page, then I got the message again saying, I'm going too fast. I'm, ab I'm abusing the, the system and I'm going too fast. This time, Facebook sent me all these here, which tells me that these posts, supposedly, that I was posting from True News, do not meet their community standards. But, or is against their community standards. True news. True news. True news. True news. Where's Rick Wiles? True news. True news. True news. True news. True news. True news. If I want to see more, I can see more here. Again, true news. True news. These true news posts or videos I was you know, liking and sharing to my timeline is deemed by Facebook as against their community standards. I guess maybe True News is also against their community standards. So here's True News, Facebook page, and I, so I was doing it in a while, and like, let's see what happens here, let me show you what happens. Oops, see, I'm blocked until Monday at 1.08 p.m. All because I was going through True News' Facebook page, you know, liking and wowing. And sharing their page, their, their you know, videos here to my timeline. Try to catch up on basically the whole weeks worth of not being able to like and and share now again the only thing I can do is just look and comment I don't know any more people. I am um, just so fed up with what Facebook is doing to conservative Christians. 
Also, something else I'm fed up with is what somebody out there is currently doing to try and steal my ham radios away from me by making fake Craigslist ads putting my picture and um, the ad was my picture saying I'm selling my radios this one here says you know an amount I received an email from a gentleman in Akron, Ohio, also the other day, that said he saw a, a photograph of me sitting down holding a sign saying that um, I was in need of money to help pay some bills. People see something you don't seem to understand. Hang on a second here. I need to grab a paper here. I need to show you something here. That I know a lot of you people don't care about the law, or you won't. You know, or you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. If you did care about the law. Homeland, excuse me, Department of Homeland Security firmly marks amateur radio part of the uh, emergency communications community. Right here is the actual law, right here. Public law, this is public law, public law. And it says right here, ham and amateur radio operators. It was a part of the E-R-E-C-C. Well, you know, what gets me is, I have the law, but since you're trying to steal my amateur radios by putting them on Craigslist and saying I'm selling, not only are you messing with me, you're messing with somebody else that ad answers the ad. You, you don't care. You don't care. But maybe when Homeland Security comes knocking on your door, you might care. Because the uh, guy that... Uh, answered the ad the last time gave his phone number I called him I talked to him nice on the phone I told him it was not me that put that ad on there I was being trolled by a lot of people that hate me and think it's funny to do this behind my back I've been keeping an eye on now ever since. So if there's anything new, any new posts, so I'm I'm watching and waiting, and I got other people looking too that know 
I'm not selling my radios. So try it again. Try it again so that I can Well, hopefully put a stop to you. Problem is, in this one uh, email that I received, it was supposed to have been to Tommy... Well, you know, Tommy Tudor. I'm not going to give his last name because, I mean, uh, he's given out his last name many times. So, yeah, I contacted this guy. And I, uh... Home that nope wasn't me apologize to him I mean what's next are you gonna try to sell my home out from under me neath me on Craigslist or somewhere else put my mobile home on uh, some kind of website to sell my mobile home and have some innocent people come to my mobile home thinking I'm selling it Or my vehicle. Try it. See what happens. Try it. See what happens. Sooner or later you are going to get caught. And when you get caught, I'm going to be there. With bells on. And watch you go down. To the pit of hell where you came from. You know, it's going on Christmas time. And it's supposed to be a joyous time of the year. But how can there be joy when there's evil in this world that stoops at nothing but to commit evil? Because they hate Christianity. Jesus said. That. The world. Will hate us because they hated him first. Oh yeah, now we love the baby Jesus at Christmas time. And during, e during Easter time, we love the Jesus on the cross. And you see, that is what the song that I sung here a while back in one of my videos was about. Jesus on the cross. Jesus was the man in the middle. Thy love. Jesus. On this CD right here. Man in the middle. Actually it's also called the middle man. But in the song. It's called. I love that man in the middle because he first loved me. Let's talk about Jesus, not gay threesomes, like this faker that keeps that put on his um, YouTube channel. 
this figure that's pretending to be someone related to me. And you know what? I'm glad somebody else is, is starting to wise up. I made a video the other day and said they um, realized that person is not my son. But then I saw another video that somebody else made and they were apologizing at first. Then they turned around tries then they turned around and said the other person was my son. Do I look eighty years old? Thereabouts? Either in my seventies or eighties? No, I'm not. I'm fifty four years old. Get that straight. I have gray as well. And so doesn't the guy that's making those videos. He has gray as well. So you can keep on pretending to be whoever you want to be. The problem is you will not be who you truly are until you find Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father God but by own only through Him. There is no other way on, under the Son. Only the Son of Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus the Christ. Yeah, something else I want to show you real quick here. What I was talking about earlier. In, um, uh, hang on a second here. I need to find it. I had it here and then I'm trying to remember where it was. Oh well, well, I'll find it later. Maybe I'll make another video. About the X. And what the X means in Greek. I don't know how to find it. Hang on a second. I'm working on it here. Okay, here it is. I found it. Let me get to it here. Get it open. I have I saved here on my computer. Great words with English meanings. I go all the way down here to the bottom. To the X. See X in Greek. 
the X in Greek. And right here, the X, there's a couple of words here that I put in uh, red here. This word right here means grace, favor, kindness, or chrisma. Then down here, this word here, X P I W, or that's the pronounce pronunciation, means anoint or anointed, which also means Christ or Christmas. So, that is why a lot of people put X in front of Mass to shorten up the word Christmas. Maybe when there's not enough room to put a whole word Christmas. They put X because X in Greek means Christ. Why don't you study before you come out and say, well, you shouldn't put X. It's not X. Because you show how much they study. They might study other things, but they're not studying everything they need to be studying about certain subjects. You know, I'm not condoning, but yet yeah, I'm saying there's really nothing wrong with it because X in Greek means Christ. That's like saying that a lot of people like the Browns and, and other people like uh, another team. But who am I to say, you know, they're wrong. The Browns are doing good this year. It's just the idea that until you actually study the way I study, No matter how much studying you do, or have done, yeah, you might know things that I don't know, but yet I know things that you don't know. That's why we're supposed to come together in one accord through Jesus Christ, which is the church. Well, listen, I've been on here long enough. I need to go here. God bless you. Have a blessed day.